Eminem needs no introduction. He's one of the greatest rappers of all time and many consider him to be the greatest rapper of all time. However, he definitely has had his fair share of rap beefs and many tensions over the years with multiple people and still to this day, people seem to start problems with him. Because of this, many rappers in the game have very different opinions of him. So today, we'll be looking at what some of the top MCs think of Detroit's own Eminem. Snoop Dogg and Eminem have had a very long and complex relationship in rap with several collaborations over the years while also having moments of tension between the two. Listen to what Snoop had to say about Eminem recently and what he thinks of rappers constantly trying to start beefs with them. Because like, Eminem doesn't seem like he does shit anymore, right? Does Eminem do anything anymore? He do what he has to do. When you've been the biggest rapper in the world for so many years, it's like, what more can you do? It's, he's finding his moments now, finding when he wants to come and when he, he wants to drop and pop because, you know, his fan base ain't going nowhere. Right. It is funny when you see, like, rappers that, like, come at him. It's like, how could you go at Eminem and not respect what Because they done? know he's sitting in the in the shell right now. And they, what they're going to do is make him pop that motherfucking shell open. You know, when people take shots at rappers like that, it's because that rapper is invisible for the moment. But that's a way to get him back visible when you start poking the bear. He still is who he is. Don't get it fucked up. 50 Cent always credits Eminem for helping him blow up in the rap industry after signing 50 to his record label and also producing his debut album, Get Rich or Die Trying. Here's 50 talking about how much of his career he owes to M. The one Grammy I have is for Crack a Bottle. I couldn't even have that without him. You know, that's why I have so much value for him, not just in, in my career, just in my life, because he's, he's a guy that, one of my best friends, because I can trust that he's going to be honest with his, his constructive criticism when it's time to listen to the music before it goes out. He's the only person that did things that I wanted to do. He had the Marshall Mathers LP with 23 million records sold with flags all around the actual the plaque. And I was like, y'all want that? I want that kind of success. And I know I had to go door to door to get it because I'm not him. See, hip hop is black music without question. And Unfortunately, for some people, it's tough to accept that you got a white artist that does it better than black artists. It is what it is. You know, and you could put either one, you could get whoever you feel like is the best black artist and stand them face to face in a room with, with them and he will eat that alive. Right now, if you had them prepare themselves in whatever way they would have to prepare themselves to come to battle, and I bet you, I bet what I have, everything I have, that meatloaf we put you right there and 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 any other competition that we would put these artists in he's obviously surpassed them you know there's points that they'll match uh like him and, and jf points that was live nation because he sold his touring career to live nation they got to keep him hot enough to go get their money back so they match him up with him put them together because he got momentum connected to his relationship with Beyonce and his, his record with Alicia. It makes sense. It makes sense that there is the Detroit, New York show, but it only makes sense to me because of business. It makes sense because I sold like 60 million records more than them. I you put them there like the equals. It's tough for me to say some of this shit. I sound like a hater, but I don't care. Jack Harlow has always listed Eminem in his top five rappers of all time list since his rise in the music industry, and he was ecstatic after getting to collab with him on the remix to Eminem's song, Killer. Speaking of heaters, uh, Eminem just got inducted into the Hall of Fame, man. Much respect to the legend. That's one of your favorite idols right there. One of my biggest influences. When am I going to see drama you know, put you and him together or something, man? Drama knows him. I mean, we get, I did a remix for him. I did uh, the Killer remix, yeah. which I was honored to hop on, but we... um. I still ain't shook his hand, you know? I'm mad because Paul told me about that remix and I couldn't talk about it. Can you imagine, like, you get that kind of information, you just can't talk about it? I can see that being difficult for you. And it's two amazing white people, like... Yeah, you love talking fuck? about white people. <laughs> Royce to 5 9 and Eminem go way back in music, with both of them starting music in their hometown of Detroit to forming their own duo rap collective, Bad Meets Evil. Listen to Royce talk about Eminem helping him years ago on some serious issues he was facing in his life. When I got sober, when I decided to get sober, um, not to keep going super deep on you, but when I decided to get sober, he was like one of the first people I called because we were sitting in the, in the, in the studio one day um, just having a conversation off topic, and he just came out of nowhere and was like, you know if you ever feel like you got a problem, you can call me, right? And the shit kind of like st it stuck with me, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I didn't know if he was like trying to subliminally tell me that he thought that I had a problem. 
I certainly felt like I was going out of my way to kind of make sure I wasn't like drinking around him a lot because I knew he was actively pursuing sobriety. So um, that kind of stuck with me. It was a couple comments my wife made that kind of stuck with me that kind of prompted my decision overall to just decide to stop. So he was one of the first, he was actually the first person that I called. And um, he told me, he said, listen, I want you to know something. I said, this is, he said, this is the strongest that you've ever been. He said, you finally admitting that you're powerless over this. He said, what we do as addicts most of the time is we feel like it's a weakness by admitting that we can't stop on our own. He was like, but you finally admitting it and now you're strong. He said, come home. You know what I'm saying? And I've been talking to him about it ever since and I ain't had a drink ever since. So it's like all everything surrounding that is the most powerful thing you could ever do for a person. Help him get better. The MGK Eminem beef was one of the biggest in rap over the recent years. Check out MGK calling out Eminem for supposedly lying about something in his lyrics during MGK's interview on The Breakfast Club. So did Paul Rosenberg make a call and tell them to shelf your project? No comment. Eminem uh, said that's I, I, not true. Eminem told Sway that that no, never happened. No, what, what, what Eminem said, no, this is, this is actually funny. Mm -hmm. What Eminem said wasn't true was that he uh, didn't make a call in regards to the daughter situation. And, you know, that was false. Jimmy Iovine and Puff conference called me at nine in the morning with multiple other people. And that was a conversation that happened at three in the morning the previous night with Harv Pierre, James Cruz, Paul Rosenberg, James McMillan. So M lied. He did talk to Puff. M he lied. He never talked to Puff. Well, maybe M we don't didn't. speak to M. We don't know where he is. Yeah. We we don't mm -hmm. speak to him. We speak to his spokespeople. Mm -hmm. And I'm speaking on the world. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know why everyone's riding for this man so tough. This is a person who won't even show up to do a real interview. Meaning that uh, Sway works for Shade 45, so it's all stage. It's all yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get it. Lord Jamar is a New York rapper who has notoriously had issues with Eminem throughout his career and constantly explaining his distaste for Eminem's music. Listen to this interview of Jamar explaining why he doesn't like Eminem. You don't hear Eminem in the club unless he's fucking with somebody else on the fucking record. They don't play Eminem in the club. In the tavern they play him, not in the black club where live niggas go. Now, corny places, I can't speak for that. Cause I have been to like a corny bar, <laughs> white boy bar, and yes, they played fucking I'm Slim Shady and a bunch of white boys started jerky dancing around this motherfucker. But I'm telling you, when you leave black people to their own devices, no one's gonna put Eminem at the top above a fucking Jay-Z or a Nas or any fucking body that we see as our fucking true kings, okay? okay. Period. I, w I won't dispute that because when I thought about it, Mm -hmm. Right. At first, I didn't agree. I might, but it made me think. I wouldn't necessarily go and put him on, but it's. I would put him on maybe if I'm taking a long, a long drive. Really? Would you? Why? Like a six hour drive because he's Why do you want somebody screaming <laughs> at you? <laughs> <It's not laughs> like, Can he put words together? Yes, but that's not all that hip hop but is. Exceptionally well, though. Can who give gives a fuck <laughs> if the content is shit? Who gives a fuck how good you put Cat Rat Bat Hat together? Now, if I didn't, what? Cat Rat Bat Hat? What I'm He's saying is, what, who gives a fuck is what I'm saying. If you're talking about smacking your mother and taking fucking pharmaceutical pills and all shit that doesn't resonate with me, why do I care how good you can rap? There's plenty of motherfuckers that can rap good and, I, and, and that are black and I don't fuck with them either. Because I don't resonate with this shit. It's not because they're black and white. It's because right. what you're saying is whack. Okay. You whack, yeah, you can say it good, but so what? So what? One last part. What makes, so you said so what he can say it good, right? But right, but whack. if you're what content, makes him whack? Oh, because content. his content is horrible. And, the, and his delivery and his all? voice. Is it relatable? You tell me. I mean, it's his Can you story. relate to it? Do you hate your mother? No, I don't. All right. <laughs> would, you, would you make a fucking song about your mother's, you know? No, I wouldn't. Would you, would, you, would you offer up your daughter to Dr. Dre? Go with him, Haley. Would you do that? No. Yeah, you think it's funny. I no, wouldn't even joke that like that. How about, how about, how about all the, the, the gay references, you know, in the name of just rhyming? You see what I'm saying? Like, see, that's what the, the, the greatest rap rappers, you. the easy road, they could have fucking made a whole lot of shit rhyme. Right. But they said, nah, I can't say that. Even though it rhymes, this nigga will say it. Even though, just because it rhymes. And that's the difference between a real fucking king 
okay? And somebody who just raps just to rap. I will say though, in his last album, the content was more mature. It was different. It was none of that kill your mother type of shit. It, and it was whack though. It was nothing. <laughs> it was not whack. It was nothing to listen to. It was fucking whack. I, listen, he did a verse about me. You know how bad I wanted that song to be? Something good? Like it was whack. It wasn't shit. Nobody in the black community came to me and was like, yo, did you hear what? But I bet you when fucking Drake roasted fucking Meek Mill, everybody was like, yo, Meek, did you hear what he said? Nobody. Only white people and, and people on the internet, you know, oh, did you hear what Eminem said about? Nobody was playing this at parties. I didn't have to worry about it. Like a Meek Mill had to worry about back to back when he went to real fucking clubs. Okay. Eminem's most recent beef that he addressed is with Boston rapper Benzino, who has had issues with Eminem for multiple decades at this point. In a now super popular interview, listen to Benzino go off on M and then eventually change his mind later on in the interview. Let's talk about, it. Let's we talk got about Eminem, got yo. That's why we here tonight. Huh? Oh. Fuck Eminem. And fuck everybody down with Eminem. And my thing is this, bro. Oh, no. It's over hip hop. Like hip hop is who we are. He can't come in and invade hip hop in Rosenberg and make trillions of dollars. This nigga didn't even go to Nipsey's funeral, bro. If he's so fucking hip hop, why? How come he ain't block ten blocks in motherfucking Detroit and give it to the homeless black people? Man, fuck Eminem, bro. They trying to kill me right now, bro, because this shit I'm saying, because it's deep, bro. Let me tell you, his fans, bro, his fans like him because he's white. They don't fuck with us. Let me try to make fuck Eminem. Oh, yeah, I yeah. dusted Eminem. Rap Elvis, bitch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. How about that? <laughs> how, about, how come he ain't answer? How come he ain't answer me? I beat the shit out of him with these. Eminem or Machine Gun Kelly? Fuck Eminem, bro. <laughs> so, so which one? Fuck Eminem, so bro. So which one? Neither, fuck, fuck, fuck both of them, bro. So I guess Fucking Cassidy will kill Eminem in a battle rap, bro. Right, Why right? do y'all give Eminem so much props? Why? Mm. Why do y'all like Eminem? Because he's white? Is that nah, it? Be, be, what do you mean? Nah, like, what? Fuck that. We don't listen to that in the hood, bro. A few moments later. I don't got nothing against Eminem. I got nothing against them and Eminem can rap, but I care about us more. I don't want to go through, I don't want to talk about it no more. I don't want to, for 22 years, every time I do an interview, they ask me about Eminem. The fuck you want me to do? Come on, man. My daughter came into the industry figuring that, hey, I got to be cool with Eminem because everybody's against my dad. You think this shit is fucking cool? Nah, oh, man, Ooh. we're failing as a people. I don't hate Eminem. I don't know him to hate him. I don't hate white people. I'm tired of this shit, man. It's just too much. I don't want to be the bad guy. I got an eight-year-old son that I dropped off at school this morning. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm all right. I don't want my DMs filled with... I've had nine pages knocked down a million... White people think I love I love all people. Come on, man. All me and Eminem gotta do is sit down and talk with each other. Let's sit down and talk. Let's battle. Let's do whatever. But let's at least face to face meet each other. If, you, if that was to happen, would you give him a five? Fuck it, man. I'd hug him. Corday is a younger rapper who has shown Eminem a ton of respect in his career thus far. One of Corday's first songs is him rapping over the My Name Is beat. Fast forward to just a few years later and Eminem added not only Jack Harlow to the Killer remix, but also Corday. Listen to him tell a very funny story about M when he first heard Corday's verse on that song. Eminem um, has obviously put his arm around you, man. He's obviously a fan of what you're doing. Like, how, talk about your guys' relationship and, and has he given you any advice or? So right before um, I did the killer remix for him, 
and we had like an hour and a half conversation about just life, about music, hip hop, mm -hmm. all different types of things. He's always been showing me genuine love and support very early on. And, you know, he I appreciate all love and public support I get because it's not like, you know, I'm signed to him, you know, so he doesn't have to do that. Right. I don't ever feel entitled for anybody to show me any love. So whatever genuine love and support I get publicly from any from fellow peers, fellow artists, uh, DJs such as yeah. yourself and your platform as well. Whatever love I get, I really appreciate that. And um, I say that to say he was just showing me a lot of love publicly. And um, we had a dope conversation. He was just like, man, we just got to get some work in, whatever. I send you something and yeah, we got to get something in. And I'm like, bet. We probably had that convo like June 2020. Wow. And I didn't send him the record for him to get on until like February 2021. And because I was just like, I was trying to find a song for him, but I was like, Yo, this is Eminem, bro. It's been like 10 months since, like, he told me he got me with a record. I'm like, let me just fucking get this shit, you yeah. know, like, and not waste the opportunity. And so I knew Parables was the one automatically because his vocal tone fits. That's Slim Shady all yeah. day. His vocal tone fits that perfectly. And, um, yeah, it's a dope thing, honestly. Some Were you intimidated um, to get on that remix? Like, did you, like, like, did you, did you write harder? Does that make sense? Like, did nah, you? Nah, nah, honestly, <laughs> um, Mm -mm. He oh you know what I did um I did my first verse for Killer Remix right I sent it over to him and M and I did it and it was more on some like three stacks E forty type of flow and then M called he was like yo I wanted you to be like a little more like lyrical like on some rap rap shit on it and I'm like all right cool like whatever so I re he had me like redo my verse on some more rap because at first I just wanted to because you know that song is it's more not like a yeah no, a no, rap rap right, record right, right, right. it's more of like a vibe right. sort of thing and so that's why I gave that he's like I want you to you know like attack it you know so I'm like all right cool let's try that if Eminem asked you to redo your verse you redo your verse for sure a hundred percent you're like sure, man, hey. man if, if anybody you know on a song I haven't I haven't ever been asked that before but um if anybody asked me to redo it because I ask people to redo their verses all the time for my song, for for my album. Not all the time, but I will in a heartbeat. Anyone on this album that you said, hey, can you do something different? No, actually. Everybody was one and done with this, but I've done it before. Like, like okay, I like this one because I just always want to uh, to paint the best picture. Whenever you add an artist to your song or you get added to another artist's song, they already got their canvas. It's like, what color palette mm. are you gonna add to this, right. you know, and vice versa. Thank you everyone for watching this video of rappers talking about Eminem. If you liked, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to help us reach 100,000 subscribers. Also, please comment down below which rapper the next video should be about. Thank you guys.